some elements of modernity, even in the culture uh, that is embedded in what he has compiled. And so we are here to see what he has done and to encourage him and to indeed show Nigerians that contemporary artists continuously remind us of where we are coming from, uh, the confusion that we are engaged in in terms of how we deal with the new cultures, uh, and if you like, uh, the new technologies that we come to deal with in our lives, everyday life. And so you're all welcome, uh, Mr. Senate President, sir, and your entourage. Uh, I will ask Mr. Kainde Adeomi, who is the core curator for this exhibition, uh, to take you around specifically so that I can explain some of the images to you. At intervals, Stephen Binos himself will be invited to explain some critical works for the benefit of the audience. Thank you and welcome once again. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
Let's go, 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 let's go,
змій був. Ліє. Змій був. gentlemen I've go around to see the art exhibition the display of various uh, artworks by Stephen Binos Yaroda the son of one of our colleagues the single senator Binos Daude Aro representing Adamawa South and I'm really very impressed by what I've seen and I want to congratulate the man of the moment, Stephen Binos, uh, our artist. Someone in his introduction about him said he's a contemporary artist. Artists are artists. And what this gentle guy has done is to document history, document very important moments, and this artworks will remain historical. Art is a language that everybody speaks and you can see from our uh, attendance here there are diverse uh, people here, some are even uh, coming from Europe or the Americas and what have you. And everybody understands this language. Whether you are from Nigeria or from uh, Adamawa South or from Demsa or from Numan or Bachama Olunguda, you understand what is in display here. The situation today, across the world really, uh, demands that we are able to document some of these very historical and very important artworks. Because technology, while it's a blessing to all of us, has its own way of undermining our cultures. I believe in keeping to my culture, because it doesn't in any way stop me from being modern and contemporary, but it enriches my thinking, my orientation, and my behavior and attitude. I believe that we can take example from the Japanese, they still eat sitting, and probably using hands. The Chinese still use sticks to eat, and they stick to their culture, and they are making it. And we can do the same. Keep our cultures, value them, Really, that does not stop us from being modern, adopting technologies developed elsewhere, and modifying them to fit our purpose here in the country. So I want to congratulate once again the man of the moment, Stephen uh, Binos. And of course, it's a popular saying that a, a picture uh, speaks a, a thousand words or even more than a thousand words. And what I've seen around, even I'm, I'm really conversing with some of them because I'm from the northeastern part of Nigeria. I'm impressed uh, to see uh, the various uh, communities in the in your uh, in Adama generally reflected here. Uh, I had thought I was going to see 
an artwork on the on Senator Binozia Rodeuda, the father of uh, the, the artist. But uh, on a more serious note, this is the kind of thing that we need to encourage our youth. If someone chooses to go this path, he should be encouraged uh, to continue to excel and do well. And whichever way we can encourage our youth in this country to be productive, to be focused, and contribute to national development, we, we must do so. Uh, I believe that as an administration, our focus, our purpose, and our desire is to ensure that this country stabilizes, that we're able to provide better security environment for people like him to continue to excel and to attract foreign direct investment. I believe that when you have someone growing in this fashion, he could even have an international sort of linkage that will continue to help him to grow better and do well. So I want to assure everyone listening and those that may listen later that this administration, the Muhammadu Buhari uh, APC administration, will continue to work hard to br bring back security to this country. It's a challenge, but I believe that it is for all of us, the federal, the states, and of course the local governments and all the communities and ethnic groups across the country. This is a situation that needs all hands on deck. Regardless of what you believe in, we all need to survive first before we achieve any excellence. And I believe that we can do so well. We can reverse the current trend of insecurity in our country. It is a very sad development that education is suffering, especially with so much kidnapping of school children, especially the girl child. Uh, in northern Nigeria, education is, has always been a problem and uh, it's making it worse with this kind of uh, uh, abduction of students uh, either in Islamia schools or in normal uh, secondary schools or even in tertiary institutions like it happened in Afaka uh, and uh, in Kaduna State. And I believe that we should continue to fight this kind of insurgency, the banditry, uh, for us to restore normalcy uh, in our country, for our country to make progress. Thank you very much. Gentlemen of the press. Uh, his work is finally coming to the knowledge of the world that uh, people of uh, good standing in the society have come to see what he has done. Uh, I, for one, has always known that he is doing this thing because I've been painting at home and we have been seeing his work. So, but uh, for the first time, his work is being exposed to the global community. So it makes me very, very proud and uh, I'm really very happy. So as a father, how determined are you to encourage him to continue in that work? Well, uh, to get to where he is, he definitely needed uh, my support. You know, he got his uh, first degree in fine art from Amadebele University and then I sent him abroad to the University of Glamorgan in Wales to do a master's. So all along, I have supported him and I will continue to support him because like the Senate President said, uh, this is one area where if you find any young man uh, doing this kind of thing, that man should be supported. So he will continue to receive my support uh, as always. Sir, the work of art is believed to be a documentation of history and today the subject of history in our secondary schools is normal. Sir, as a senator, what do you advocate to see that the studies of history in secondary school is back? Well, uh, you want to bring a controversial matter and you want me to uh, in, engage in a uh, controversy. But, but, but sir, what but, do you, how uh, do you see if actually this Well, when, 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 when I went to school, when, when I went to school, I read history 
And uh, I believe history is very important in the life of any nation. You need to know where you are coming from before you can uh, know where you are going. So any nation, any society that forgets its history is, to me, a doomed society. So it is very important that uh, we study our history and it is good that uh, my son has decided to capture history in his photographs and his uh, paintings. So history is very, very important in the life of any nation. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Please, let's ask you what motivated you to this uh, I was in Adamawa South, 20, 2019. Uh, I taught all the nine local governments of Adamawa South, and I witnessed all this vibrant, you know, uh, lively uh, cultures and tribe, and I felt it to be good, it to be uh, a, a great, you know, uh, for me to project these cultures and tribes. If you, if you say Nigeria, they will say uh, Hausa, Igbo, Yoruba, that's our three major tribes. We also have, you know, little, little tribes that plain, a lot of people don't know about. This is my own, you know, uh, contribution in shedding a light to this uh, extinct or uh, minority tribes and cultures. Yeah. Any other questions? No. Any other? Give me a good. All right. Thank you so much.